Hello guys, today I will review Iron Maiden's fourth studio album Peace of Mind released on May 16, 1983 in the United Kingdom by EMI Records and in the United States by Capitol Records. It was the first album to feature drummer Nico McBrain, who had recently left the band Trust and has been Iron Maiden's drummer ever since. Other members who played on this album are Bruce Dickinson vocals, Steve Harris on bass, Dave Murray and Adrian Smith on guitars. The album has nine songs, lengths 45 minutes. Let's check individual song on this album. Track number one. Where Eagles Dare tells the story of a group of soldiers on a brave mission to infiltrate an enemy fortress set high in the Bavarian Alps. It is a powerful anthem of courage and fortitude in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds, and a reminder that no matter what lies ahead, one must remain brave and unflinching in the face of adversity. This is the great album opener with great instrumental parts, with great vocals by Bruce Dickinson, who is the one of the greatest singers of all time. Track number two. Revelations is a song about rebuilding a broken world and uniting together in order to make that world a better place. The song speaks of, of using strength to overcome darkness and despair and break away from the chains of oppression. It also explores general themes of rebirth, with lyrics talking of a serpent's kiss, the eye of the sun, a holy place, and the dawn. The song is very powerful with many tempo changes, one of the best Iron Maiden songs ever in my opinion. Track number three. Flight of Icarus is a metaphor for rebellion against authority. The song tells the story of Icarus, a young boy inspired by his father's dreams of flight and determined to fly as high as the sun. The chorus of the song serves to remind the listener of Icarus's ultimate consequence for his unchecked ambition. The song is very catchy and you will love it after first time of listening to it. Track number four. Die With Your Boots On speaks of a prophet of doom who predicts war and destruction, and that no one can escape the fate of death. The lyrics of the song suggest that instead of dwelling on the unknown, one should face the inevitable with bravery and stand their ground. It is catchy song with great solos and Steve Harris bass sections. Track number five, The Trooper. What to say about it? This is the one of the top five Iron Maiden songs ever. Many friends of mine tells me it is the best. It tells about the horrors of war. The song portrays the gruesome realities of war and its consequences for the brave men and women who fought for their countries with courage and conviction. The song ultimately celebrates the courage and determination of the soldier as he bravely marches onward towards certain death. Track number six. Still Life is a haunting and enigmatic song that delves into the darkness of the human psyche. It explores the allure of the unknown and the way in which it can consume and manipulate one's thoughts and emotions. The protagonist's sanity becomes increasingly fragile, ultimately leading to a final descent into madness and a desire for release. This is continuation of the first five songs on the album, which makes album even more better. Track number seven. Quest for Fire paints a vivid picture of a primitive world where our ancestors fought to reclaim the power of warmth and light. It speaks to the timeless curiosity of humankind, depicting a journey of risk and danger across a barren landscape in search of fire and to regain the power of light and heat. Good song and instrumental part is very nice and melodic. Track number eight. Sun and Steel deals with the idea of accepting life and death as part of being a warrior. It starts by talking about a warrior who killed their first man at the age of 13 and by 16 had learned to fight. The chorus then speaks about sunlight falling on the warrior's steel weapon and how death in life is their ideal. Not strong as previous songs, but chorus is catchy and track is good as it is. Track number nine, To Tame a Land is inspired by the science fiction novel, Dune, written by Frank Herbert. The song narrates the story of Paul Atreides, also known as Muad'Dib, or the Kwisatz Haderach, who rises to power in the desert planet of Arrakis. It is a song which closes this amazing record. Overall, this album is a masterpiece and it is in my top three Iron Maiden albums. I would definitely suggest newbies to check this out. Leave in the comments your thoughts about this album and please don't forget to click subscribe button. Until next time, take care everybody.